So you want to make a YouTube ending that has clickable links to your other videos or your channel. Is that correct? Well, I'm about to show you how to do it. Keep watching. All right. So to make a good YouTube ending, uh, you're going to have to go into a photo editing program like Photoshop or GIMP. And you're going to have to make a picture that is your YouTube ending. And my picture is 540 by 334. And that fits perfectly right on the screen. That's the same size I use for my thumbnails. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make your YouTube ending clickable. So people can click on it and take it to that video. If you're not good with any uh, photo editing programs such as Photoshop or GIMP, I'm actually going to show you how to do that in the next tutorial. Uh, the link should be somewhere on the page here. Just look around for it. And the first 10 people that leave me comments saying, I want you to make a YouTube ending for me, you know, I'll go ahead and make a YouTube ending for people. Alright, so in your photo editing program, you want to save your picture as a JPEG. And you can see I did so. And save it onto your computer somewhere. I got mine saved in the documents. I'm going to go ahead and insert that photo at the end of the video that I want to put it in. I simply drag it and I drop it very end of my video. There it is. I'm going to connect it right to the end like so. And you can do this in any photo editing program that you have. And I got my volume clip that I want for my YouTube ending already put on here. And it's a song that I have. And you can put songs legally uh, in your videos as long as you don't put a full song if you just use sample clips that's perfectly fine that's legal and this is less than 20 seconds so I'm good and I want to take this picture and extend it all the way to the end of the video to the end of my 20 second clip a little bit longer there we go like that so my video is finally done making now it's time to upload it to YouTube and the video doesn't actually become clickable till after you upload it on YouTube. So I'm going to go ahead and upload it to YouTube and I'll be right back with you guys shortly. So as you can see my YouTube video did make it onto YouTube and you want to go into your video manager and click on the edit button. And you should watch it, you know, at least one time. Make sure the video is working correctly before you mess around with any other settings. Now, to put the clickable ending on there, you have to go to annotations. This is the secret to doing it. Took me forever to figure this out. Figured I'd share it with you guys here. And the error occurred. You know, it keeps doing to this to me. It's pretty annoying. If I fast forward, yep, I did it. I'm just gonna go ahead and fast forward to the end here. And you wanna put it right at the very beginning, is where you wanna put your annotations. So I got it paused uh, right at the, the spot where I wanna make my YouTube ending clickable. And you're under annotations and you go to add annotation go down to spotlight and you're going to center that over the video that you want to make clickable resize it so that it's perfectly over it so when they click and then you go to link and that's where you copy and paste the URL of the video that you want them to click on copy and paste it right there in the link and make sure to put open link in new window so when you're uh, copying the URL of the video and paste it into the link section make sure 
you're not under your video manager or under one of your settings because the URL is going to be different and if people try to click on it it's not going to work so I recommend just searching for your video then finding it and that way you get the exact URL that everybody else would get and you copy that paste it in there control C control V shortcuts really helpful and you can see it's right there the annotation and I'm gonna go ahead and stretch that all the way to the end of the video and that one is done so now I can and you don't have to press save or anything it automatically saves it you don't have to put any writing in there go ahead and make another annotation go to spotlight and you keep doing this method to uh, every single video like this one I'm gonna do my channel so I'm gonna actually put in the URL of my channel then I'm gonna do all the videos so you can see I've added the spotlight annotations to all my videos and I made sure that they all start at the same point and they all end at the same point at the very end of my video don't forget to stretch each one out to make it last to the end of the video and make sure on each one that you click the open uh, link tab you can you know just click on each one right there or you can go right here and see each one so now after you're all done doing your annotations you're gonna wanna save it and you see the save button there YouTube has an auto save feature and they may have already saved it so then you just click the publish button right beside it and that goes ahead and puts it on YouTube so that your annotations are clickable then when you're all done you want to go back to your YouTube video go to the very end of it and just click on each annotation make sure that it pops up into a new window and that each link corresponds with the correct picture of the video well, I hope you guys enjoyed my tutorial, and please like, subscribe, favorite, and if you have any questions at all about this, please leave that in the comments below, and I'll be more than happy to help you out with it. Thanks. Yeah, I'm a Call of Duty pro, drop shot and kids everywhere I go. I can't be touched, I won't be stopped, it's undeniable, I'm undefeatable in black ops. I've got the skill, pulling off clutch plays, and make the other team rage quit the game. Every one of your kill cams will come for me, what else could you expect from pro with COD?